with the eclipse is less than a week away. And these eclipse glasses are going pretty quick. So if you don't think you're going to be able to go out and buy any before Monday comes around, we have another alternative. Why don't you make something to see the eclipse from just a few materials around your house? Well, if you want to make your own way to view the eclipse at home, it's actually pretty easy. We're going to make what's known as a pinhole viewer. So you only need a couple things, some card stock, or maybe just a really heavy sheet of white paper will do. If you have some computer paper around, maybe just two of them kind of held together, that'd be good. But card stock's a little thicker, that's going to help. Some aluminum foil, don't need one as big as what we've got. This is grilling foil, but normal aluminum foil, aluminum foil is going to work. Some tape, just some scotch tape or masking tape, it doesn't matter. And then finally, a little thumbtack. You don't necessarily need a thumbtack, just something small you can poke through the tin foil will work. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and cut about a one inch hole in a piece of cardstock. Or again, just some really strong piece of white paper is going to work. And it doesn't have to be exact, but just pretty close to about an inch. So what you're gonna do is after you cut that, get some tin foil, just make sure it's a little smaller than the paper. It doesn't have to be too exact here. And all you're gonna do is make sure it's pretty flat and smooth. Tape this down. So I'll just use a couple pieces of scotch tape just maybe like one here at the top, one on the bottom. I suppose we might as well do the whole thing so it doesn't fly off in the wind if it's a little breezy. So we'll do it on the right side there. And we got one more. So now we have our tin foil taped all the way down to our piece of cardstock. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our thumbtack or again, just something that'll poke a little hole. I think a, a pen might work, kind of a sharper pen. And we're just gonna poke it right in the middle. And try not to stab your finger on the other side. So if your kid's making this with you, maybe you help them out with this spot or this step. And yeah, just make sure with the thumbtack, it's not too big, basically right about the size of the needle itself. You can widen it out just a little bit. And that's all you need. And then we'll show you exactly how to make this work and how it's going to look when the eclipse is coming. What you're seeing here is our version of the sun shining through the pinhole viewer and creating a shadow on that piece of cardstock on the ground. So now that we have our homemade pinhole viewer, again, just another version of some eclipse glasses, this is what you're going to want to do to see the eclipse. Put one of your pieces of cardstock, or again, just kind of a heavy white sheet of paper on the ground. This is where we're going to see our shadow of the sun form. It's going to be able to see it a little easier. We're going to take our pinhole viewer and put it aluminum aluminum side out so that's facing the sun so have the aluminum facing the sun that light's going to go through it's going to hit that little hole we've made and it's going to show the shadow on that white piece of paper and as the eclipse is happening you're going to see right on that white piece of paper a little hole or a little circle that's the sun and then it'll slowly get tilted over a little darker and we'll just have one sliver left here in Colorado Springs. I hope this helps for making your own version of some glasses to view the sun. Again, this is pretty easy and we'll have instruction on how to do this at our website koaa.com.